Welcome everyone to the presentation on binary tree traversal techniques. Myself, Dr. A. Victoria Anand Mary, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Computer Science, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Kadalu. Today, we'll be exploring into the fascinating world of binary trees and how we traverse them to access and manipulate data. Binary trees are fundamental data structure and understanding traversal methods is a key to unlock their potentials. Let's start by understanding what binary trees are. They are hierarchical data structure consisting of nodes, each with at most two children. As we can see, a binary tree is a collection of nodes that consist of a root and other subsets to the root points, which are called the left and right subtrees. Every parent node on a binary tree can have at most two children. The node that has no children is called leaf node. And these nodes are connected by edges and binary trees have a specific properties which we have seen already. That is, it is having a left and right subtrees and each node will have at most two children. This is a diagram representation of binary tree. As we can see, the A is the root node, which is at the topmost level in a tree, and B and C are A's children. A is B and C's parent as well, and B and C are the root of two subtrees, and D, E, and G node. These nodes can be called as leaf node because they don't have any inheritance. Now let's see what is the meaning of traversal. Basically, a tree traversal is a process of visiting every node in a given tree. That is, visiting a node uh, involves doing some processing at that particular node. But when describing a traversal strategy, we need not concern ourselves with the, what the process is. We are, mo we are going to focus only on the order of visiting the nodes. Tree traversal is the process of visiting each node in a tree data structure. And there are three different ways of traversal that is done in a binary tree. And for doing so, it is going to use a recursive pattern. And in each technique, the left subtree is traversed recursively. And then the right subtree is traversed recursively. And the root uh, node is visited. And what differentiate these techniques from one another is the order of those tasks, those three tasks that is carried out. We'll be focusing on three main types of traversal that is pre-order, post-order and in-order. In pre-order pre technique, we'll be visiting the root and traverse the left subtree recursively and then traverse the right subtree recursively. In post-order traversal, the traversal will start from the left subtree and then uh, to the right subtree and then finally it will visit the root node. In in-order uh, pattern, the tra it uh, travels the left subtree first, then visit the root and then travels the right subtree recursively. This is the procedure for pre-order uh, tree traversal. And here we start with the root node, that is, uh, it is a current node. And we check if the current node is not null, meaning that is, it is a valid node. And if you find it is a valid, then we try to print the data stored in the current node. And this is the step where we visit the current node. Then we recursively call the pre-order on the left child of the current node. And after that, we recursively call the pre-order on the right child of the current node. And this recursive process continues until we reach the end of the tree or leaf node. And the, this procedure helps us to explore the entire tree structure in the specific order, that is starting from the root, then moving to the left child and the right child recursively. And in the example, we can see we are having a three nodes here that is A, B and C. And we can see that A is the root node, B is the left child and C is the right child. If we are going to follow the pre-order pattern, then we are going to print the A node, that is the root node first, then followed by the left child and then the right child. The order of visiting 
will be A, B, C. Let's explore the other uh, technique that is in order traversal procedure for a binary tree. It is similar to the pre order traversal except the order of the visit. That is, in this procedure, we are traversing the tree in the order, in order fashion, which means uh, we'll visit the left subtree first, then the current node, and finally the right uh, subtree, as we can see in the procedure that is given. And um, in the example, that is, uh, we will take the same example. The order of the visit uh, will be B, A, C. B is the left child. A is the current node that is a uh, root and C is the right child. And finally, uh, we will see about the post order tree traversal technique. And it is similar to the other two traversal technique except the order of the visit. And in this procedure, we will visit the left subtree first then the right subtree and finally the root node or the current node that is given the procedure and um, in the example we can see that uh, the output is uh, b c a that is the left child data is first printed then the right child data and finally the uh, node that is current node root node so the order will be b c a Finally, to sum up, binary tree traversal methods are like maps that help us to explore tree structure in a step-by-step -step manner and they are also essential tools for programmers because they let us to search, add, remove and do changes in a, in a tree effectively. And I hope you had a better understanding about tree traversal techniques. Thank you all.